Welcome back to the vlog. It is your host Rob from I-25 Kia. If you tuned in last week to see our stinger stunt go down, then you know this is not over. If you didn't watch the video, I want you to stop right now. Just stop. Go watch that video and then come back and then we'll we'll resume. I'll wait. Alright, anyways, we have a great friend of I-25 Kia named Jimmy Tranter. He jumps with a group called the Thunderstorm. He's just an amazing athlete, period. He's done 26,000 plus jumps, and he's just a really cool guy, honestly. If you're watching this, Jimmy, what's up, man? That, that's a fist bump. Anyway. As you know, we were not successful landing into the stinger. And I say we because this is a team effort. Even though Jimmy's doing the dangerous thing, it takes a lot of us coordinating it. And he'll be the first one to tell you that. But Jimmy doesn't want to give up. The reason he got hurt is because he was trying to land on a vehicle that was going 30, 40 miles per hour. Just imagine doing that and then actually landing on your feet and then running it out. That would hurt, man. So Jimmy decided to take some time and do some more skydiving stuff that he's more comfortable with. So I went out to the Van Sprain Airport this weekend to see Jimmy and to get some footage of him doing something he's a little bit more familiar and comfortable with, which is swooping. If you don't know what swooping is, it's whenever you parachute down really close to the ground and you just kind of skim right across the ground. Well, in the skydiving community, you can swoop across a pond and you can skip it like a rock. And Jimmy's really good at that. So check out this footage from the airport. We're back here again at Vance Brand Airport in Longmont. We're kind of utilizing today to give you guys an inside look on what it takes to complete this stunt. It's not as easy as it looks. Actually, it doesn't look easy at all. But I don't know, I find this process very interesting. So hopefully you guys do too. There's so many people here. People are moving all over the place and tying ropes. And we thought today would be a great opportunity to highlight his swooping capability. So we're gonna go over to this pond over here. Jimmy's gonna super cross it. Maybe we'll put the stingers in front. Really, today is just gonna be a fun day. We're just going to play with the cars and the possibilities and the things we could do with the cars and Jimmy as a skydiver. So here I am, standing in the middle of a pond. Jimmy's going to swoop in between both vehicles. He's gonna come around this way. We have a really cool shot, hopefully. Here comes Jimmy right now.
the day is done. The shoot is drying. Be wet. Soggy. It's wet. Only How was soggy. the day though today? It was awesome, man. Beautiful yeah. day. Couple of nice jumps with Joe. All right, well, we got a beautiful shot over the pond. Nice. A couple of B-roll shots. Where are you going for the next week? I'm going to be back and forth here. I've got a couple of demos that i got to do. Jumping into the stadium for 4th of July. And then I'll be back out here next weekend teaching some parachutes. Where are you going? I'm going to Florida. Heck yeah. <laughs> Apparently there's beach lights, though. Yeah. I would blame the beach, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the view of a dark hangar. Do you have a light on your phone? I can't, I can't tell if I'm going through my closing loop or if I'm just going through my power tool right now. Yes, thank you. So this is Joe. I don't even think I've introduced Joe, but Joe is the brainchild behind this whole thing. Without Joe, this wouldn't even be happening. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me, but I'm here. So how much does a parachute cost? If you like money, you don't want to learn how to skydive. <laughs> you want to have fun, you want to learn how to skydive. You just have to figure out what's more important, having fun or money. Since the beginning of time, mankind has always wanted to fly, but unfortunately, gravity has served as a relentless ball and chain that has always held us down. The concept of falling from the sky dates as far back as the 1100s in China, when the Chinese would do what we call today as base jumping. You know, like jumping from cliffs or buildings with makeshift parachutes. So who was the first person to admit a parachute? And who did the first test? Unfortunately, the earliest references we have of anybody who fiddled with the idea of a parachute don't provide specific names. There are a few medieval documents that mention the use of a parachute-like device, but it wasn't until a daredevil named Armin Furman that we can identify a specific parachuting stunt, even if it was an accident. See, Furman was attempting to fly and jumped from a tower in Cordoba, Spain, intending to use the garment as wings and glide to safety. The attempt was unsuccessful, but the garment slowed his fall sufficiently to ensure he sustained only minor injuries. Later in 1485, Leonardo da Vinci sketched the first blueprints for the parachute as we know it today. 515 years later, Adrian Nicholas made an exact replica of da Vinci's model and had a successful landing. The parachute weighed 187 pounds. Now to give you a little bit of reference, a student skydiver, their parachute weighs about 20 to 25 pounds. Because the size of the canopy needed for landing safely decreases with experience, a professional skydiver such as Jimmy will have a parachute that's about 15 pounds or so? I need to ask Jimmy. But on the really heavy duty side, like a full grade military parachute, you're looking at 52 pounds. So 187 pounds is tremendous. Nicholas had to cut his chute away or else it would have crushed him. Simply put, there are a lot of claims for credit for the invention of the parachute as we know it today. But the first known test of a purpose made parachute was carried out in 1617 by Croatian inventor Faust Vrenin. His invention, known as Flying Man, adapted from Leo Leonardo's first sketch. And then throughout the 19th century, parachutes were generally confined to carnival acts or daredevil acts. In 1890, Germans Paul Lettmann and Couchin Paulus, I know I'm terrible with these, these names, they invented the method for packing parachutes into a backpack. Parachutes up to this point were too bulky for pilots and aircrafts. They wouldn't fit in the cockpit. And then the first jump from a flying airplane happened in 1912 by Americans Grant Morton and Army Captain Albert Berry. After reading more about skydiving and its history, it's amazing to me how long it's been around. One of the coolest things I heard while I was at the drop zone was what it's like whenever you're free falling through rain. It's like the earth is raining up at you. And when you're free falling, the wind travels past your ears at speeds well over 100 miles per hour. So you can't hear anything. You're just virtually deaf. But of all the things I read, this is the most most interesting thing that I came across. Approximately 2 million skydives happen every year. Out of this, the average number of fatalities is somewhere around the number of 35, which is less than 1%. So if you look at the numbers, this makes skydiving safer than driving, unless you're in a Kia. The past two weeks, the past three weeks, have been moving like crazy. It feels like I'm going like a mile a minute. I've now been working with i25 Kia for seven months and this is gonna be the 45th video that I've made. And I can't wait to make it to the end of the year to give you guys a recap of what I've experienced. I've been on a racetrack with a professional driver and a stinger whipping around the place. I got to meet the Rockies outfielder, Gerardo Parra. What a cool guy. And now I'm helping coordinate Jimmy into a moving stinger as he's skydiving from a plane. What's next? And that's where you guys come into play. I need your help. You guys want to see anything, let me know. The main thing that I've learned from this year is no idea is too big. But before I end this video, I want to extend a thank you to Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy Trancher, for being awesome and just 
treating me like one of your homies. Thank you to Free Fly Maddie for getting all those amazing shots of Jimmy and Joe in free fall. I've also learned not to leave the keys in the vehicles around Free Fly Maddie. Don't do that to anybody. Really like to thank Joe for helping me through this whole thing and just having this vision and just knowing that we can do it and knowing the people. But if you guys would be so kind to give me a like, possibly subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and if you have any questions about any of the vehicles that I-25 Kia has to offer, go talk to the car experts. I mean, look at that stinger. But I hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July. I'm going on vacation next week and Jimmy's traveling around. We just can't get the whole team together to complete the stunt next week. As much as I know you guys want to see it, we're going to have to wait a little bit more. It'll be worth the wait. And I'll catch you next time. Later, guys.